Hello, welcome back to Paul's Stuff. It's my space on YouTube where I get to share all the things I love. Lots of Star Wars, lots of lightsabers. And today's Star Wars, we're going to be visiting the Galaxy's Edge Droid Depot again and looking at another of the accessories that you can get for the droids, namely the droid backpacks that get sold at, um, at Galaxy's Edge. Now, I have two versions here. This is the original version that um, you used to be able to get at the parks. This one's no longer available at the parks, so you would have to pick this one up on the aftermarket. This grey one is the current one that is available at the park. So what I'm going to do today is just have a look at them, have a look at the small differences between the two and um, just give you an overview really of, of what these backpacks are. So what these are, um, when, you, when you buy one of the droids from the droid depot or you, you build one, um, they interact with... Uh, Bluetooth beacons that are around the uh, Galaxy's Edge Park um, and you either get them uh, if you if you build a droid you either get them in a box which you then have to carry by hand or you can buy one of these backpacks I think they're around $50 um, something like that uh, 50 to 60 dollars and you can fit your droid in the backpack so we'll, we'll take a look at the grey one first, as this is the current one. So what these backpacks have is a zip out panel at the front. So you unzip this panel, pull down the flap, there's a little magnet that holds the flap down. And you get to see your droid inside the bag. Have the backpack on, carry it around, the droid will interact with the beacons. You can see and hear the droid interacting. Um, so that this is the major feature of these bags. They both have, have the flap. The blue one um, has the flap as well with the, the same sort of magnet. They're exactly the same in that respect. This holds down magnetically. You can see I've got a chopper in here. So these will fit the R series droids, the, the C series droids, and uh, the B series droids. Um, they come with a foam insert in the bottom, which means you can use them with any of those three types of droids. Um, I'll show you the foam insert at the moment. I am not fortunate enough to be able to get to, to uh, Galaxy's Edge to visit the parks and so I've had to buy these on the secondary market here in the UK. Um, I was fortunate enough to get both of these in one lot on eBay uh, but they did only come with one foam so poor old Chopper at the moment is sat on a couple of boxes in this one just to uh, get him up to the right height in the bag. The foam inserts are the same between the bags but let's look at um, what else you get. So this grey bag has a zip open top. The, um, the earlier blue bag has a drawstring top. So you open up the drawstrings and open up the top. Inside you'll find there's a little chain with a, a, a clip on one end. That's for the BB units. Um, there's a little um, place on the back of the head where you can clip the chain. And this means then that the head is kept uh, secure in the bag. If it happens to come off, you won't lose the head. It will be attached to the bag. Um, just below that, both, both bags have that little chain. There's a pocket, you can keep things like um, personality chips, anything you like in that pocket really. Um, they both have the pocket. Um, these bags are almost identical in terms of their construction. Um, the, the big difference being the, the zip top on the grey one. Um, so you've got that little pocket inside to keep all your, your extras and goodies in. 
and then we have a, a pocket on the side where you can keep your remote control on the blue one it's just an open pocket your remote fits in there really nicely there's plenty of space for it on the grey one it has a velcro closure so it's a little bit more secure uh, but again you can keep your controller in there um, keeps it out of harm's way you need to have the droid on turned on for the beacons in the park to interact with him but um, you don't need the controller on so you can just tuck your controller away so let's have a look at um, the foam insert that comes with these I'm going to pull it out with R2 here oh no I'm not R2's come out so as you can see you fold the legs down to the sides and then um, you have this this foam insert that the legs go into um, I am considering making one of these myself to go in the blue bag as I only have the one but this is the foam insert um, the R2 and the uh, C series droids the legs just fit in and um, it just holds them securely in the bag they sit in like that um, the BB units this is cut with a, a dish here so that um, the BB units can go into there pop that back into the bag and I'll just show you how R2 goes back in hopefully this is uh, Going to be fairly straightforward i'm just going to do up the zip panel so you can zip up that panel in the front as well as you saw at the beginning they were both zipped up um, these are a nice sturdy bag um, for what you're paying for them they're um they're really nicely made Uh, I think uh, they may be made by the same company that do some of the, like the character bags and things that Disney sell. So that's back in, right down into the bottom, and then I'm just going to pop R2 into the bag and find his way into that that uh, piece of foam. And zip his top up and R2 is back in his bag and ready to interact with us again um, so that the heads are free to move I um, should probably have turned R2 on so that you could see him moving in there but um, the, the, the heads are free to move and interact uh, as they go around the park um, both bags have nice padded shoulder straps plenty of length on the straps um, I've seen people with these hanging on their fronts as well as on their backs um, it's just a, another great accessory especially if you're going to the park and you're going to be walking around with your droid um, it's a nice accessory to have so that your droid has uh, somewhere to look out from. So that's the uh, droid backpacks from the droid depot at uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Another nice accessory for their droids. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing as well if you're enjoying the content. Um, it's always nice to see people subscribing to the channel. Um, but for now, from R2 and Chopper and me, that's everything. It just leaves me to say cheerio, everyone. <laughs>